Local law enforcement are giving people with outstanding warrants an alternative to going to jail. Computer stations are being set up inside Immaculate Heart of Mary Church, where authorities, court personnel and attorneys will be waiting for people wanted by police. It allows a person to clear their record. It allows them to get back into the criminal justice system. It's all part of the Fugitive Safe Surrender Program, which gives known fugitives with a chance to surrender in exchange for receiving favorable consideration. Since the beginning of time, churches have always been recognized as a, as a safe haven, a safe place for people to meet, a safe people for uh, people to uh, maybe have a neutral party intervene on their behalf. So what the Marshal Service has done is we've taken it to the next step. There are several thousand people living in New Mexico with arrest warrants. Program leaders say more than 18,000 come from Doña Ana County. So what we want to do is, if you have failed to show up in other court hearings, this is the opportunity to come in and say, all right, I'm willing to work this out and figure it out. Warrants include offenses for shoplifting, criminal damage to property, and a failure to appear in court for a traffic citation. District Attorney Susanna Martinez says if people decide not to show up this week, there are other options. What you want to do is call your lawyer. Call your lawyer right away if it's a felony case or a federal case and say, look, I want to take care of this. Then that lawyer will do what they need to do to get you into the courtroom. If it's a misdemeanor case in magistrate court or municipal court, go to the courthouse and say, I'd like to see a judge to see how I can take care of this. I passed the deadline to be able to participate in the program but you gotta take care of it right away. And people will get the opportunity to turn themselves in between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. through July 31st here at the Immaculate Heart of Mary Church in Las Cruces. For KRWG, I'm Carlos Correa.